The importance of fire in many western ecosystems cannot be overstated. On the Kaibab National Forest, fire provides habitat for wildlife, maintains watersheds, and supports forest health and productivity. Fire also influences a wide range of values, resources, and ecosystem services. The magnitude of work accomplished with fire on the Kaibab would not be possible without the high level of engagement of the natural and cultural resource specialists across the forests. These resource specialists have a strong understanding and appreciation for the benefits of fire to the ecosystem as a whole and to their specific resource areas. They work closely with fire staff to ensure that fire management and resource management are one in the same. We have a lot of cultural resources on the Kaibab National Forest and we've worked really hard to make our staff appreciate the importance of these special places. What we're trying to do here is protect the forest for the long term and prevent these sand replacing fires. And so with that, naturally that comes for us, the protection of cultural resources. If we are managing a low intensity fire, we're gonna have a lot of great benefits that we're gonna see out there because we're gonna be able to reduce fuels around our archeological and historic sites. And the firefighters greatly appreciate that. That's the, their goal as well in the forest in general is to protect the forest. And, and because we have this long-standing relationship and trust, uh, they, they go the extra mile to protect our resources here. Fire becomes just another tool in our toolbox for protecting sites. We actually really have opportunities when we have low intensity fire to actually do some proactive measures on archeological sites. We can actually reduce the amount of heat that uh, the site will see and make that site almost fireproof. So that's a long-term benefit. We find it's very effective to give the firefighters, teach them about the history of an area and that gives them stewardship of those resources. And so that's been a very effective way of uh, reaching out and establishing and continuing to build relationships. With the definition of civiculture being the art and science of manipulating forest vegetation to meet landowner objectives, fire is, is a major component and required here in the Southwest. This picture of Williams shows the, the change that's happened from 1890 till now. We have increased the amount of trees across the landscape significantly. Today we see thousands of trees per acre. The issues that they probably didn't foresee was the crown fire, catastrophic wildfire events. That's why today's direction of restoration and reducing crown connectivity and Im improving wildlife habitat is now a major objective and kind of the cornerstone of, of our management today. So this is really good to see this change, to understand why management today, allowing fires to burn is appropriate to meet our objectives. Fire's role is meant to maintain the regeneration. We, we need a certain amount of regeneration across the landscape to ensure sustainability, long-term sustainability. You can't have big trees without small trees, but sometimes too much regeneration can be an issue. Basically, the role of fire in northern Arizona ponderosa pine ecosystem, as it relates to soils, is about returning nutrients to the soil. You get an understory of grasses, forbs, and shrubs that then are able to produce litterfall as well as the ponderosa pine and build organic matter. So that's one of the critical roles of fire in, in the ponderosa pine ecosystem is how it maintains our understory. We're returning fire to the ecosystem where it belongs in a manner that it should be returned in, rather than these high severity fires that occur when we have lightning strikes and they become uncontrolled because we've had dense forest conditions that have remained untreated. We have a lot of goshawks on the district, and so when we're in nest areas for the goshawk, we want to make sure we manage it for low and moderate intensities. Uh, we also have spotted owl habitat that we have to consult with with the Fish and Wildlife Service and a lot of other sensitive areas that fire can be in, but we need to make sure that it's in those locations, you know, in a way that is beneficial. It's a tool, a coarse tool, but when it's done correctly at low to moderate intensities, it has benefits to wildlife. The Forest Service manages a lot of resources that are highly important to tribes, whether those are archaeological sites or ancestral sites, sacred places, 
areas where medicinal plants are collected. And so the forest has a responsibility to talk to tribes about the work that we're doing. Here on the forest, we've been consulting with tribes for about 20 years. And so we've had an ongoing dialogue about, in this case, fire and fire management. And tribes are generally supportive of using fire as a tool, but tribes want to know how we're going to protect those resources that they're interested in. If we're planning to manage a fire or have a prescribed burn, not only is that going to potentially improve the safety of a community, but also that's going to improve watershed conditions, soil conditions, habitat for wildlife, range conditions. This is really an integrated approach to managing fire. We're looking at the impacts to all of the resource areas and to our neighboring communities and determining the best approach to take based on what the impacts are going to be. This relationship, it's taken a lot of time to build and obviously a lot of fires. We have a start and we, we all know what to do. We know it's a chaotic situation for the operations at the time, but at the same time they're listening to us. And then even throughout the fire they're contacting us and asking us more questions. Hey, is it appropriate if there's higher severity here? What do you want to do with these fences? Do we want to burn inside of them? Do you want to exclude fire from them? It's an intense conversation that's ongoing. I think it's just a great working relationship and it has to be because they're really given the responsibility of doing one of the biggest of our stewardship activities in trying to return fire in an area where often it hasn't seen fire for 50 plus years, several fire return intervals. And, and here they are with this challenge of trying to reintroduce fire and at the same time not catch grief from someone like me with regard to how it affects my resource. We all like fire and like seeing the benefits of fire. We're, we're all for the use of fire whenever possible. And so uh, we're looking for solutions, not trying to put a stop to anything. Letting fire get to the ground and do what it needs to do. Went to fire school 15 years ago and I've worked on a lot of fires on the ground. It helps me understand what decisions fire managers are faced with making and, and how they might make those decisions. I think that actually working on fires with firefighters who are solely firefighters um, really helps the relationships and helps everybody understand each other better. Everyone here is very passionate about the work that they do. They love the land. Everybody has a deep respect for each other. And that is evident when we're having a staff meeting or we're having a planning meeting for a project or even working with the general public. It's very evident. This isn't just good for protecting a community. This isn't just good for a particular area of the forest and say wildlife habitat in this, that area. This could ha potentially have impacts to the entire watershed for an entire area, an entire community. The work that we're doing has these much broader, much larger scale benefits that I think that people are now understanding and coming to realize. So it's really about this landscape approach that we're taking that involves integrating all resources Sources on the Kaibab National Forest moving forward and working together. On the Kaibab National Forest, the support and understanding of the benefits of fire from resource specialists is a critical link in the success of our fire management program. We have built relationships between the fire program and the different natural resource programs that are based on communication, trust, respect, and mutual understanding. By building an integrated approach to fire and natural and cultural resource management, the Kaibab has positioned itself to continue to be a leader in the use of fire in landscape level restoration efforts. <laughs>